Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack and today I'm just going to reconstruct my 16.22 second Rubik's Cube blindfolded world record single. So uh, here we go. So yep, um, starting off my orientation's blue top red front and I'm going to start by memorizing the corners starting at my buffer which is a UFR. So that goes to here. So L, this goes to here which is M. So LM, so I think like lamb, even though what I really picture is Daniel Lin's avatar picture for some reason. I don't know why, even though that's a technically like a llama, but um, I just think of it as like a lamb in my head. So yeah, we'll just call it a lamb. And that goes to there. F, that goes to here. W. So I think like flower, but I tend to make like the words in my corners like one syllable because apparently it's faster or something. As, see, I just kind of think like flow. And then this goes to here. So B. This is my buffer piece, so yeah. And down here is a corner twist. And I tend to just memorize the UD sticker of a corner twist, so um, yeah, this thing here. And usually when I have like a, a parody, so like a lone letter at the end of my um, corners and one corner twist, um, I tend to just make a letter pair out of them. So in this case, B and P. So using the P from the UD sticker of the corner twist, and for BP, I think bop. And I just kind of memorized that the last letter is a corner twist. So it'd be like lamb, flower, bop. Um, yeah, bop. I just think someone is doing like that on someone's head or something. Yeah, I don't know. Just came up with that some time ago. So moving on to edges. Uh, so the, my buff is the UF. So this goes to here. D, that goes to there. R. Um, and I use like sounds or like audio pairs. So I just stick around a vowel in the middle pretty much. So door, or in this case, two vowels, but just some kind of thing in the middle. That goes to there, Y, X, so Yix, and then W, P, so wipe. And like, this is typically my buffer piece, but since I had parody in corners, uh, I pretend this is the UR piece and vice versa. So with that in mind, this is going to here. So B and T. So I just think bat. So now this is like technically meant to be my uh, buffer piece, pretty much. And what I've noticed is that I've hit um, eight targets and I've landed on the sticker of my buffer piece. So uh, that means, um, actually originally learned this concept way back in 2016 from a uh, Jaden McNeil's uh, video on floating buffers because Jaden was actually good at free blind once upon a time. Uh, See, so yeah, in a situation, yeah, once you hit uh, eight targets and you land on a, the buffer sticker, not just a piece, but the sticker of it, then if there's another cycle left, then you can float on it. Um, and when I was kind of memoring, I kind of knew that uh, there was indeed a cycle left and not like, you know, some solved or flipped pieces. You know, it was like around this area somewhere. And uh, generally, if it's around here, I tend to float to uh, the sticker. Um, just something to note. I don't know how to like float like all the other blinders. You know, like, you know, full floating and stuff. Uh, but I don't, don't know like anything really. Like I know a bit of UB comms and that's about it. So I kind of pretend this is like my new buffer uh, by like rotating it and making this the UF, the new UF pretty much. And I just kind of visualed uh, this going to here and that going to there. And that happens to just be an eight movement, which is pretty nice. So like, um, yeah, I just start executing here. Memo was like 7.56 seconds, I think, which is like, okay, I guess. But uh, I figured if like Kaiju and Memo this or something, it'd probably be like six seconds or something, even if he did it back in like 2014. So I guess memo is like something I'm gonna work on. Uh, so yeah, fortunately this floating finger is like an eight mover, which is really nice. And I just rotate back up and do the usual stuff. So this one and that.
Oh, this is I learned from Ishan and Worlds back when we were talking a lot about like, well, he was talking about it. I was kind of listening most of the time, really. Um, cool, like, finger tricks using your middle finger to do M slices. And yeah, this was one of the algs that involved that, and it's pretty cool. So that's um, edges done and out of corners. So that's all pretty sound stuff. And the last bit, this is a bit that people kind of went like, what the hell is this in reconstruction? Uh, I guess it kind of looks like a J-perm, like a twist in the bottom or something. But uh, yeah, I learned a bunch of like algs that I kind of generated from Cube Explorer um, that solves the last target and the last corner twist, or as I call it, LTCT, or last target plus corner twist. And uh, yeah, Hampton Neuron Alg for this case. So that's B and I guess H being the UD stick of the corner twist here. So uh, this was essentially a setup to that. So D2 and this really interesting ALG thing, D2, and done. Uh, and execution was like, if I could do the maths right in my head, 8.66 seconds, which is pretty interesting because that's like faster than my um, personal best of solving the cube with my eyes open in a competition, which is like 8.92, I think. So yeah, it's, it's kind of weird to think about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's my world record single. I uh, haven't really made videos like this in a while, so uh, could maybe make more in the future or something. But uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya. I was about to mention, uh, this is the first world record uh, for blindfolded solving that uses the not done. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks Graham Siggins for basically inventing it. Um, kind of saved a fraction of a second, which might have like gave me the world record pretty much. Uh, hopefully more people use it because it looks really damn cool. Yeah.